What's up, guys? I'm Brandon Heron. You probably, you, you guys are probably wondering why haven't I been posting or where I've been. Um, I sustained the injury on the 21st of last month. Tomorrow actually marks two weeks since I sustained the injury. I sustained the injury at work. I was training one of my athletes, and uh, we were doing some explosive work. He's a football player, so we decided to uh, do some box jumps toward the end of the workout and I decided to partake in the exercises. We've done these before. And um, so stacked the plyo boxes really high. Gave it a lot of effort on the second attempt. There was nothing leading up to it, didn't, didn't experience any soreness or anything. I had to give a lot of effort due to the height of the boxes. It was three plyo boxes. I obviously cleared the two easily, that's why I stacked the third one. And from there on the second attempt, I exploded as much as I could and from there I felt the pop and as I jumped I fell back, fell backwards, landed on my back and then on my side. And then from there I looked at my knees and saw that my kneecaps were up into my quads, which was not painful at all, surprisingly not painful. Then from there I had to get carted off to the hospital. So basically what happened was you have the patella tendon which attaches which attaches to the kneecap and also attaches to the quad muscle and attaches down to the tibia and the shin bone and from there the ligament or the tendon ruptured from the kneecap down to the tibia and which caused my kneecaps to go up into my quads so when i was actually looking down at my quads there was a hole where my kneecap should have been and my kneecaps were up into my quads so it was kind of freaky. It was, it was insanely, according to what everybody saw on my kneecaps, it was a freakish, a freakish accident. So I, quick, I was quickly reminded I'm not 21 anymore and that I needed to sit my 35 year old ass down. So here I am guys, I got transported to St. Louis Sugarland and end up having surgery two days later to repair the tendon and to put my kneecaps back in place. And that's when the pain hit me, guys. Now it was extremely painful. So we talk about a scale of one to 10, um, same day or the same night that I had surgery after it was about, the pain was about a 12 or 14. And uh, that was extremely painful. I've never felt pain like that in my life. And it definitely had me in tears um, until the medication could kick in, which took about a day. So after that, I got transported to uh, Pam Health before that, shout out to St. Luke's, uh, an amazing hospital, amazing staff. They treated me fairly well. Um, I had a great experience there and I was grateful for the staff there. Grateful for the staff here at Pam Health. Today marks a week that I've been here. The food is, the food is amazing. Hey, I got fed steak today, fried rice, vegetables. Uh, the morning I got fed bacon, toast, um, got fed eggs, some coffee. Uh, um, they definitely do it right here. Uh, the staff is, like I said, is amazing. So, shout out to physical therapy. This is like my seventh day in physical therapy. I'm going to take you guys along on my journey um, as I heal and uh, become a better, stronger person. So, so yeah. Damn. Um, to my clients, um, this injury is uh, going to take some time. This is definitely a, a big injury. So I'm in cast and I have to keep my legs straight for six to eight weeks. I'll probably get the stitches out within the next two weeks, which a total, which totals about four weeks. And uh, from there, the process could take anywhere from six months to a year. And that's including building my legs back. You know, been in a cast for six to eight weeks. Gotta work on mobility again inflection, deflection, whole nine yards. So it's definitely a process, but I'm, I'm definitely thankful. You know, little adversity in life, you know, adversity, there is no life. Adversity build character, it, it builds character, guys. So I'm definitely grateful for my journey and everything that I've been through. Those who know me know that I've been through a lot. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thankful because it has molded me into the person that I am today, the leader that I am today. And uh, yeah, hey, follow me in my journey as I recover. And uh, I'm extremely excited to uh, bounce back and to becoming bigger, faster, stronger, better. So with the grace of God, let's do it.